on in here boys and girls welcome on back to the channel i don't know why did i start off like you know what let's roll with it welcome on back to the channel everybody hope you're doing have a wonderful day thank you for being we're gonna listen to the abc gonna learn a little bit of the alphabet uh we're gonna listen to this track all <laughs> I'm gonna listen to this track all my heart which is off of their album let's go this was released in 1982 sometimes you start a certain way and other times you finish another way let's go ahead and jam on into the track we'll talk about a little bit after all of my heart here we go everybody thanks so much for being here upon a star if that might help the stars collide if you decide wish upon a star if that might help what's it like to have love and to lose her touch what's it like to have love Bringing that back. Hear the drums? Spilling up in silk and coffee lace. You hook me up by rounding through at your place. Your lipstick and your lip gloss seals my face. <laughs> Good line. There's a crack of gold at the end of the rainbow. All the pleasure and pain, sunshine and rain might make this love grow. But I hope and I pray that maybe someday you'll walk in the room with my heart. Add and subtract, but as a man. I love that group. This is the moment.
hi hat play. Some violin? Nah. Sax? At first I thought that was violin at the very end, but I'm pretty sure it was sax, but sometimes I don't know. Um, that's a really, really fantastic track, but my favorite parts of that song are not the verse, not the chorus. Those are great. Not not putting them down at all. But my favorite part of that song is after the chorus. When all that space is opened up, when the drums, David Palmer, are allowed to like play around a little bit. That skittering 16th note on the hi-hats. It, it I love that. Like that's one of my favorite sounds personally for me, right? So anytime I hear that, I can't help but make mention of it and pay attention to it. And I love how it's just given a little bit of room to and then a lot of space, a lot of space for a lot of atmosphere, whether that's from a fantastic, seemingly fretless bass line with some noted atmosphere given from the keyboards, the guitar. It's just this really beautiful moment that's created in that space. And because it happens every time after the chorus, you get it quite a lot throughout this track. And then they basically use a similar technique in the actual break of the song, or in the bridge rather. And even in that, the hi-hat doesn't do it as fast. It doesn't do it. It's more. It's slower. <laughs> I can't do it as fast or as slow, but it's slower. So I like how they take that, that particular section, put it in the bridge, and then just kind of expand it. Kind of give it a little bit more breathing room. Not a ton, but just give it a little bit more. And they're allowed to play in there a lot. I think that that sounds fantastic. This, to me, is like the, the epitome of this type of pop music. Because it is poppy, it's catchy, it's infectious, but man, is there some really good stuff happening in there that even for like a, a musician, you could look at it and be like, oh, that's a very nice bass line. That's a really nice, you know, like you could really dive into it and, and look into it. Martin Fry sounds really good. I mean, this is just a, a great track all overall. And I love, but I got to say, I love that space that's being brought in there uh, in those particular sections. That's the main standout to me. Looking at the lyrics. Once upon a time, when we were friends, I gave you my heart. The story ends. Well, that's it. <laughs> that's a quick ending. Uh, no happy ever after. Now we're friends. Wish upon a star if that might help. The stars collide if you decide. Wish upon a star if that might help. We used to be friends. Wanted maybe something a little more. I offered my heart to you. Well, that that didn't go anywhere. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm still hoping that maybe our stars will cross. What's it like to have loved and to lose her touch? What's it like to have loved and to lose that much? He is hung up on her. Well, I hope and I pray that maybe someday you'll walk into the room with my heart, like bringing that heart back. Add and subtract that as a matter of fact, now that you've gone, I still want you back. Like the math isn't working out. I've given you my heart, but I haven't gotten it back. It's been added. I've subtracted. But as, as the kids say, the math ain't mathin. Remembering, surrendering, remembering that part all of my heart. Spilling up pink silk and coffee lace, you hook me up. I rendezvous at your place. Your lipstick and your lip gloss seals my fate. There you go. Uh, sentimental powers might help you now, but skip the hearts and flowers. Skip the ivory towers. You'll be disappointed and I'll lose a friend. So I really like that line because, you know, okay, they reconnect and, oh my. you know, they, they that happens, oh my, right? My, my. But I love the line and how it ends. You'll be disappointed. And I'll lose a friend. It wasn't worth it. It wasn't going to work out for us. We allowed this to happen. And unfortunately, it pretty much ruined the, the friendship, the relationship that we had. No, I won't be told there's a crock of gold at the end of the rainbow. Or the pleasure and pain, sunshine and rain might make this love grow. But I hope and I pray that some, maybe someday you'll walk in the room with my heart. Uh, well, that's the, the, the chorus again. But this time it's changed. The kindest cuts the cruelest part. Like out of kindness... It's best that we just end this. I love the maturity in here. And then I think it even changes at the very last chorus as well. The last chorus says, surrendering, surrendering that part, all of my heart. 
right? Whereas the first course, he was saying remembering that part. He was holding on to. Like the first one was remembering, a little surrendering, and then remembering. Holding on to that feeling. But by the end, he's now saying surrendering. Little remembering, but mostly, once again, because he reiterates surrendering. Surrendering his heart. That's great. That's good writing. And that's a little drop of maturity that's just dropped in this particular uh, great song. Uh, it says it was released as a single in 1982, peaking at number five on the UK singles chart. Uh, the arrangement was by Ann Dudley. And um, there's all your chart information. It's a great track. Let me know what you guys thought of it, though. Comments down below. Follow me We're on Twitter. Support the channel. Patreon. Thank you so much for being here. I don't know what the intro was either. I don't know. I don't know what I was doing there. I don't know. But I promise I'll never do it again. Have a great day, guys. See you all later. Bye-bye. Now, now, now. You know I'm going to do it again. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I appreciate watching the show. If you come back tomorrow, don't have me to tell me something good. Well, if you some music, then I'll come back tomorrow. See you later. Yeah. <laughs>